Okay, so right, Mario so versus Ryu. No surprise picks there. Nope. I know uh, Soka Gohan had been working on a secondary. I wasn't sure if this was the time His to bring it out. It has a coin on it. Yeah. So. So let's see what SoCal Gohan versus C Loss. Every time I look at SoCal Gohan's tag, it just has another number next to it. Like, I remember it was plus four, now it's plus seven. Like, I actually don't know what that means. <laughs> he's in like seven different crews or something oh, like that. Like, wow. I I'll have to ask him about it. I know he's explained it before. Okay, so it looks like uh, SoCal Gohan's looking for his opportunity. He gets the grab. Silas actually just tried to show you can throw it. Lands with the up air into an immediate show you can. And that right there tells me Silas has played this matchup before. Knows how to escape Mario combos. And it doesn't look like he was trying to get that show you can out of there. Uh, looked like SoCal Gohan could have continued the combo off off that down throw, but I don't know if it was a miss input or what that was. But it did not work out in his favor. And I like uh, Silas's use of the walk here. Up tilts into the down air. Silas gonna take the first stock. Yeah, SoCal Gohan definitely gonna feel that. Silas going for the rising Tatsu doesn't. Or actually gets hit with the fireball, forced to recover low. Landing forward air as a cross up gonna be the option for Silas. That's the up tilt after a bad. Ooh. And great up B to interrupt that whatever down air was going to come out from so from C loss. Yeah, C loss. Uh, Soko Gohan very um knowledgeable that that down air was going to come. He was ready for it. Down air into Shoryuken going to be the two stock with max rage. Mm -hmm. A great start for C loss as a uh, Soko Gohan is forced to box Ryu. Of course, Ryu is going to have those options to just break out. Or whatever pressure Soka Gohan's throwing out. He can just flat out beat um, all the chains with Shoryuken. Yeah, I remember um, one time I used to think like I was good at the Ryu matchup and I played with Silas for like uh -huh. two hours on Wi Fi. I was like, man, I need to learn this matchup a little more. <laughs> like, he's, a, he's pretty good and showing it right now. And so Kyle Gohan was taking a little bit of thought, taking some time to figure out where he wants to pick. Final destination is the place we're going. And I like this. He's taking his time. He's going to box out, throw out some fireballs. Yeah, but these fireballs only 5%. That's one, uh, three of those makes one folder for Ryu making up that damage. Now Ryu hits like a truck. It's like all the rocks stuck to the bottom of his feet after walking around barefoot for so long. Right now, now Gohan's landing a couple hits here and there, but it's not it's not able to convert off it, and that's the problem. Yeah, he's playing super respectful of Silas at this point. He recognized how um how strong Silas came out in that first game. But now he's respecting a little too much. Going in with big damage off of that combo though. He's just looking for this one straight hit. Catches Ooh. the jump with the forward air. See Okao Gohan take uh finally getting a stock in this set. And okay. again, Sokal Gohan go just upping straight through that combo. Oh, that was so unsafe of an upbeat, but only eating a couple of down tilts as a punish. It looks okay, like he's running up, getting the grab, and now Sokal Gohan with stage control. I like Sokal Gohan's use of down air there, uh, making sure that uh, Silas could knock you off the ledge with a focus attack. Oh, throwing out another aggressive forward air <laughs> from SoCal Gohan. Both of them catching for him. I know Silas going to be a... Uh, now, if that doesn't shake up a player, that I don't know what would. <laughs> what did I just see? Like, that was such a crazy option for SoCal Gohan to throw out. Just a, a pack jump forward air off stage from ledge. Okay, moving on to game three. <laughs> Alright, so Silas going in with that forward throw. Right now, Gohan has to fire away off ledge. Just going to up beef through Silas' pressure. Again, that's been so crucial in SoCal Gohan's game plan. 
Neo goes for the down smash follow up, doesn't find it though. Uh, oh, that's Gohan a lot of shield pressure him. onto SoCal Gohan. His shield was looking mighty low. Alright, down tilt, but again, SoCal Gohan just mashing these up bees after one hit. I kind of want to see Seagull start punishing these. The thing is that SoCal Gohan's using the up B to actually, same way that Seagull would use his Shoryuken. He's just using it to, to break combos, get him out of situations. Okay, that was a great focus, but SoCal Gohan there with the punish. Oh, and wake up Shoryuken coming out from Silas. Not going to find it, though. SoCal Gohan trying to find that back air neutral gang up right in front of him. Yeah, that was a great back air putting on free pressure to SoCal Gohan. Chasing with the down air. It's not going to work out. Does find that down air, but not going to really lead into a stock. Back, though, it's Ryu's pretty heavy. He's not going to die that just yet. Oh, and that was his opportunity. He was looking for that air dodge. Yeah, but Go uh, Gohan forcing Seagloss to go just a little bit too low. Not going to be able to get all the way back up to ledge. Okay, now we see Tokal Gohan. Reverse right. Shoryu going to punish that with jab. We have a full close game right now. I like this pressure coming out from him. From Silas, he was moving around. Just both pressure tried to straight up with his movement. That. And it looks like that, like, moment he took just to think about the game in between game one and two is really paying off for Gohan right now. Up smash catches the focus attack cancel. It also looks like Soka Gohan's making uh, better use of these platforms than Silas is. He's definitely able to combo off them a little bit better. And now that Rising Tatsu is going to. Take him out of that pressure. Oh, man, that F-Smash catches him DI'ing to the right, but Ryu, heavy body, not going to kill just yet. And SoCal Gohan in a great position to take the set. Only 26% to the 141. At this point, he just has to, like, go for these grabs and run away. He doesn't have to commit versus Rage. Ryu, that back air is going to punish the air dodge. That's the 2-1 for SoCal Gohan. Good set to SoCal Gohan. He took his time. After that game one loss, really analyzed and think, thought about what he needed to do, and then he made the correct adjustments. So, making a. Uh, just showing.